everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com and today I'm showing you how to make keto ice cream. This stuff is sweet, it's creamy, it tastes just like regular ice cream. You can't even tell that it's sugar free. And this low carb ice cream recipe has been popular on my website for years. It used to have four ingredients, but recently I retested it, made it even better, and now it has five. I think that extra ingredient is going to be worth it. First, I adjusted the recipe to use both heavy cream and almond milk. It used to be only heavy cream, but some people complained it was a little bit too much in butter territory, so adding the almond milk gives it the perfect balance, and if you can't have almond milk, don't worry, I have some alternatives I'll show you in the video. Second, I used to make this recipe with erythritol, but now I use Bestie Powdered Sweetener. And this, this you guys, has been a game changer. I created this sweetener because I wasn't happy with the sugar substitutes that were available out there. Either they were gritty or they didn't dissolve well or they had an aftertaste. This solves all of those issues. It tastes just like sugar. It has zero net carbs. It's 100% natural and you're going to love it. But in particular for ice cream, this is really great because it makes your keto ice cream soft and scoopable. If you've ever made a low carb ice cream recipe where it just came out of the freezer hard as a rock, this is going to solve that problem. What Bestie does in ice cream is it helps lower the freezing point, which is going to keep your ice cream soft and creamy, just the right texture, right out of the freezer. You can pick it up on my website or on Amazon, I'll link both down below for you. Okay, let me show you how easy it is to make this keto ice cream. Let's do this. The key component in this sugar-free ice cream recipe is the keto sweetened condensed milk. It works very similarly to the way regular condensed milk works in traditional ice cream recipes that are not custard-based. So that's what I'm making here. I've added three tablespoons of unsalted butter to my pan, and I'm just gonna go ahead and let that melt. Now I'm going to add a third of a cup of Bestie Powdered Monk Fruit Allulose Blend. Like I mentioned before, this is a key ingredient in making soft and scoopable low carb ice cream, so don't use another sweetener. This one is going to give you the best result. And I'm adding two cups of heavy cream here. This is the same as heavy whipping cream, sometimes that's what it's labeled as. Go ahead and stir that together and you'll notice the sweetener starts to dissolve really easily, very quickly. So the condensed milk does take a bit of time and it is important to use a large pan like this because if you use a smaller saucepan, it's going to take even longer. This takes about 30 to 45 minutes total, even in this larger pan, but this larger surface area of the pan does help a ton. The condensed milk is the longest part of making this keto ice cream, but it's so worth it and I like to turn on some soft music and it's actually kind of relaxing. You'll notice the condensed milk is going to start to thicken and bubble. This is all totally normal. And the way you know it's done is when it coats the back of a spoon and it's gonna be nice and bubbly and turn a little bit darker in color. But be careful not to have it on the heat too long or it's going to turn into caramel sauce. Delicious, but not what we want here. Remove the condensed milk from the stove and pour it into a large bowl so that it stops heating. And add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. There are a whole bunch of other flavors you can use here. So in my blog post, which I'll link down below, I'll show you how to make other ice cream flavors. But for now we're making straight vanilla. So I'm adding one cup each of heavy cream and one cup of almond milk. You can also use coconut milk beverage here or even regular dairy milk, though that will up the carbs and will no longer be keto. Cover your low carb ice cream base with plastic wrap and place it in the fridge for at least four hours or preferably overnight. This is going to help improve the texture of your keto ice cream, so don't skip it. Now it's time to churn. I highly recommend using an ice cream maker. I'll link my favorite one that I have here down below, but if you don't have one, I'll tell you about a no churn method as well. So for the ice cream maker method, you're going to pour the mixture into the ice cream maker and then churn according to the manufacturer's instructions. It takes about 20 minutes or so in my ice cream maker, but you'll know it's done when it's about the texture of soft serve. If you want to use the no-churn method, what you're going to do instead is pour it into a glass container and place it in the freezer, stir every 30 to 60 minutes for the first two hours, and then every 60 to 90 minutes for a few hours after that. This is going to prevent ice crystals from building up. So my sugar-free ice cream is done here. You can see this is about the texture of soft serve, which is as firm as it's going to get right out of the ice cream maker. Feel free to enjoy it as is, 
but I like my ice cream firmer, so what you're gonna do if you want that is just transfer the mixture to a glass container. Be sure to do this fairly quickly so that it doesn't have time to melt. And you may need to scrape some of the ice cream from the bottom of the bowl, that's totally normal. Go ahead and smooth the top and then place in the freezer for about two to four hours until firm. As you can see, the sugar-free ice cream does take some time to make, but it's only a few ingredients and the steps are really easy and it's so worth it. This is going to taste just like the real thing. Let me get a scoop of this and show you. It does scoop a little bit better if you let it sit out for a few minutes before you do it, but if you're impatient, it's still gonna be very scoopable. If anyone has any tricks for perfect ice cream scoops, let me know, this is how I do it. It also helps if your ice cream scoop is a little bit hot or you could even run it under some hot water. That's what I usually do. That's what I did right before. Now, this is delicious, plain, but I like to add a little sugar-free chocolate syrup. I'll link that recipe down below for you as well. And also not required, but I have a recipe for homemade sugar-free sprinkles. So I think these are fun. All right, time for dessert. So rich and creamy and sweet. You can't even tell that this isn't real ice cream. I hope you'll make this keto ice cream soon. If you do, be sure to leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and snap a photo, post it with hashtag wholesome yum so that I can see it too. See you next time on Wholesome Yum, where I share easy, healthy, and keto recipes, all with 10 ingredients or less.